are in Minnesota for this matchup between the Steelers and the Vikings. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long. And two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers. And no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game. We're going to double team them. Really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. Offense lines up here. First and 10. Peterson's going to secure the handoff. Runs out of bounds. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. Peterson's called on once again. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the... blocking up front but what patience for the running back he did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop when it did he saw it he hit it and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game trying to establish the run but there's nothing there here at the start well they didn't pick up many yards that time no doubt about it but that's a bad job by the running back he picked the wrong side to run to nobody was blocking the side he went to when it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Looking to the right side and throwing. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. First down. Bell's got it on the handoff. Going to lose yards here. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Bell's in the backfield. Single back set. Second and 12. Right where it had to be. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. That reception gave them the first down. They're setting up screen under pressure and incomplete. Hatchery is going to get set in the slot for this snap. The second and ten. Roethlisberger's play action. Incomplete. <laughs> Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. That up screen. Into the open now as he crosses the first down marker. Jim, years ago, you never would have seen a screen pass on third down. But offenses are so varied now. You see it more and more. That was nice execution on that play, and it picked up a first down. Running right through the trenches. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Just a quick drop back. Throws the pass. He had no time to get set. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. 
Brown's lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and seven. Roethlisberger still has it after some nifty play action. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. The defense will take the penalty. Still first down. Able to move the chains after that penalty. Makes the catch in open space. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. First and 10 will go Brown. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Roethlisberger and Miller with that combination. The Steelers' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Mounting a serious drive. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Six in the books. Uh, just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. He's got a chance to return this one. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Go, go, go! Patterson's a receiver in the slot. First down and 10. That pass was hurried. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. Castle's got it in the gun. And he's intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. Browns in the slot. First and 10, the throw to the left, and it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Bells out in the slot. Second attempt. Throws to the right. Antonio Brown with the catch. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Roethlisberger is going to take it from the gun. Brings it into his body. He's brought down. The defense, they are great tacklers. So what do they try to do? They try to make you throw the football short here in the red zone so they can come up and make the tackle. Antonio Brown with the catch. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The Vikings with a nickel look here on defense. Five, maybe six out of that. Well, it's a good job on the defense getting that tackle inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if they're good enough to keep the offense out of the end zone. First down here after the run. Quarterback drops back, play action. Working that left side. Now the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Goal line defense on the field. Second and goal at the one. It's Hank runs it across. Touchdown. 
That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. He will run this one back. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Patterson lined up in the slot, looking for a receiver on the left side here to the 25. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Patterson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and seven with two hands. He has it. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Peterson's lined up in a single back formation. Matt Castle with the long throw, and it falls incomplete. Deep passes in the NFL, they always serve a purpose. You're not always going to get the completion, but at least it gets the defense thinking that you will try some long throws down the field. Castle standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He has the grab. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning. First down coming up. Castle's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Polamalu with the pick. Blindly spins away from the hit. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turn into an interception? Kachari is lined up now as a slot receiver. Bell's handed the football. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look now from under center. Reaches out and snatches it. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Roethlisberger's back in shotgun formation. Shrugs off the first hit. When the football's in the air, the receiver on the curl route has to see it and come back towards the quarterback. That's what he did that time. That's why they got the completion. Kachari is a receiver in the slot. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. A gain of 18. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. First and ten, Bell's going to take the handoff now. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice box, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Second down here. Run it again. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? This will be the eighth play of this drive. Jones gets the carry. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. Running away from the pressure. 